Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network! Last time, well, we s saved the house, looted the whole neighborhood, and everything's groovy. What's going on? Who's that guy? Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. Probably not important. And the dialogue is moving automatically here. So, yeah, whenever you see the dialogue moving that fast, means that I have no control over it. So, uh, Mega Man's pretty talkative, apparently. No, I wasn't paying attention. I was just blabbering. Oh, okay. Let's check it out. Hmm, I wonder why that is. Oh, okay. Uh, thanks. How do you call me in homeroom? What, did she just say, like, hey, he's on his way or something, or so they don't count him as being absent or something? I don't know. Hey, listen! Okay, let's see what we got here. Right, we heard about that. Ah. Oh. Okay, never mind, then. That doesn't really help me. Ah. Oh. okay. Well, if your house ever catches on fire, just call me. I can take care of it. My water can. But anyway, okay, let's explore more of the school. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Ah, okay. Yeah, we can't go to that part of the school, but we do have a little bit more freedom to explore. Like going to the nurse's office here. Come in here, check out the cabinet, and we can steal some drugs. Great. No, no, just kidding. But, yeah, we do want to get the chip there. Not that I'm going to use it, but, well, I just wanted to show it. Let's see, around here? Hey, hey, repair chip. Which is completely worthless. I think it, like, if a tile was destroyed somehow on the battlefield, you could repair it with that. But I've never used it, so I don't know. I mean, uh, that's what it does, but I've never actually seen it in action. Oh, well, okay. Let's head on up there, then. What? What was that? Oh, okay. Yeah, we, yeah, we're in fifth grade or something. Yeah, up here. But before going to class, let's see if we can find some more chips around here. What do we got here? Oh, another chip I'll never use. Well, at least they got extra chairs, though, or desks. Anyway, what do we got here? A library? What do we need a library for in this game? Isn't everything electronic by now? Yeah, I mean, what's with all these books? Maybe they're e-books or something, I don't know. But I did want to come here to get another escape chip. All right. Now, if you're going for 100% chip collection in the game, viewers, you want to hold on to those escape chips for later. Uh, if you're going to play ahead of me in the game, there will be someone who is willing to trade for your escape chips. Do not do that. Oh, okay. Wrong class. But yeah, the thing is, with escape chips, there's only five of them in the game, and... Once you get those, or trade them away, you can never get them back, to my knowledge. I don't think you can even get them from chip trading, either. So, uh, there's like a machine or something later on where you can get random chips from it or something. But anyway, yeah, we gotta go in the back door, I guess. How's it really gonna be sneaking in if my desk is in the front row? But whatever works for you. Then again, the adults in this game are monstrously incompetent. At least so far. Oh! Well, good for him. Is he like an intern or something? Bigsby, huh? Oh, cool! Nice hairdo there, man. Well, I haven't gotten anything rare yet, but... Well, maybe we can do some trading. Why do you say that? Yeah, he's just... Oh, they spelled weird wrong there. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of typos in these games. Oh, well. I've seen some of the typos in the future games. So, eh. But that's it? Just a two-minute homeroom? Okay, sure. Yeah, have I seen him before? Nah, I'm, pro I'm probably just imagining it. Or we could use a whiteboard with markers. That works too. 
Yeah, that's easy. What do you mean? Just because he collects chips? Oh, okay. Ha ha. No, of course not. Now you're just talking crazy. Huh? What's going on? Yeah, tell me about it. Well. So yeah, that's what I was talking about last time with the cannon chips. Where if you put three cannon chips in alphabetical order, you choose them there in a, in a single round. And they will combine to form another chip that's even more powerful. But it only works for the one battle there. And really, the thing is, with most program advances like that, most of them are really, really bad. Or are really difficult to pull off. There is one that is obscenely good that I will tell you about when we get there. But the rest of them, not so much. But yeah, well, let's just say this game has some balancing issues. But it is the first game in the series, so... Hey, Final Fantasy did that. Hey, Dragon Quest did that. They still had problems in the second game. But anyway, I love the game, though. But, uh, can we challenge you? Nah, I guess not. Okay. Hey, come to think of it, most Final Fantasy games have balancing issues. But that's alright. They're still fun. Oh. Well, that was fast. She seemed to be healthy the last time we were talking. Oh. Okay. Well, you're not going to be like a substitute teacher or something? Say huh again. No. No, that's another game, viewers. Uh, how would we do that from over here? I mean, I could... Oh, you mean the network, right? Okay. The school network that we were in when we were doing all those tutorial battles. And no one's gonna keep an eye on the kids? What the... What's going on? Who's that? Nuts. Uh, didn't we already know that, though? Oh, well, of course. What do you mean? How, how did you figure that out? Doesn't seem like re-education to me. Shouldn't you, like, not be telling that to us? I mean, I guess we're kids. Maybe no one would believe us, but come on. Like a 007 villain. Nice. Oh, okay. I guess Mega Man was right about that. But I mean, that just came out of nowhere. Like, oh, yeah, of course they're trying to do a re education program or whatever. Nice. Okay, so you're controlling the network. So, is there any imminent threat? Or danger? Or... Okay. So? I mean, it's not like the school is on fire or anything. Well, let's see what we can do. Oh, okay. Then how did no one else know about it? What do you mean by that? What is it? There's like a subliminal hypnotic message in there or something? I don't know. Sounds like a Star Trek episode. Well, calm down. We're not in any immediate danger, it would seem. Nuts. Uh, yeah, I, I suppose so. Well, see if I can help, or if uh, Dex can handle it on his own. Oh, yeah, I suppose I should have let you know. Yeah, we can't even get out of the room here. Shouldn't you, uh, I don't know, not hook that up to a network or something like that? Or maybe someone could kick down the door? You're a big guy, Dex. How much do you weigh, anyway? Maybe I could throw you through the door. That might work. Interesting, knowing the Robot Master boss weaknesses 
of the first game. Yeah, I kicked your ass the last time, Dex. Uh, what are you doing? Don't answer that, viewers. Hmm? What? What happened? Nuts. Oh, yeah, they're just programs, though. Well, let's see what I can do. But anyway, before going into the school network, you want to talk to mail here because... Oh, how do we do that? More party members? Not exactly, but we do get a roll chip. Or, well, roll is a Navi chip. And Navi chips are kind of like summons in Final Fantasy games. You use them and they have usually really powerful effects. But the thing is, is that unlike regular chips, you can only have up to five Navi chips. Either five of the same one or five different ones, whatever. You can't have more than five in your entire folder there. But I do want to swap it in there for shotgun there. But yeah, this is uh, drains 60 HP from a target. So that's pretty nice. You don't even have to aim it. It'll just target whoever's in the front there or closest to you, I think. But anyway, okay, let's go into the school network and see what we can find around here. See if we can find a way to get out of here, at least. Well, what do you mean? Well, I guess they would know, but we haven't really done a whole lot of exploring in the school network, other than, you know, the tutorial battles. Well, let's see what we can do. Oh, okay, good. That'll be easy. What do you mean? Nuts. Yeah, so we can't just go straight there, unfortunately. Though I do like how they use the title screen music for the dungeon here. Nice touch. Nice. Well, we can't even get there even without the doors being locked. So, oh well. Let's take a look around then. Well, so far, most of the enemies are going to be pretty easy at this point. Oh, they have my initials on the network here too. Maybe that's supposed to be short for Higsby? Or something? I don't know. But anyway, if you haven't gotten any Shockwave chips yet, well, you find this one. So you don't even have to worry about farming more Shockwave chips there. Alright. Well, not many places we can go. Yeah, early on this is going to be pretty straightforward for a dungeon, or network, or whatever you want to call it. It's basically a dungeon. Yeah, how do we get there? That doesn't really help me. But, okay. Well, let's keep looking around. Yeah, they got paths going under paths and over other paths. Yeah, it can get a little confusing trying to figure your way around all these networks here. But, alright. So we got that. And I also got a qu another quake chip from one of those flappy guys. So, just put that in there. I wouldn't use too many quake chips. I'd probably stick to like three, maybe five tops. But... They only really work on enemies who don't move really fast, which there are some of those around, but still, I'd, I'd rather limit how many I put in my folder there in case I run into faster enemies like those spooky guys that dropped that invis chip before. But how do we unlock the doors to the classroom? Find out next time on Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.